Hey, how's it going guys? It's Chris Tuotuo here back with another video and today we're going to be watching tabletop games by The Odd Ones Out. Now The Odd Ones Out is an animator and he tells a lot of his own sort of story times and stuff like that. So we're, that's what we're going to be watching today. Uh, yeah, so I am pretty excited. Now, I don't ever recall playing a tabletop game. Oh wait, yes, 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 I do. I do recall one. Um, I was in Alabama with my aunt and uncle, and I was at um, my cousin's house, and we were playing some tabletop games, and like, no, uh, that hand gesture was not for you. It's not a scratch gesture. Hmm. She always, <coughs> she always wants it, just where are you going? Nah, whatever. Um, but, uh, something weird happened. Like, uh, I, the lights went out for like an hour or two, maybe two hours. So, and, no, I mean the pow the whole power went out, not lights. And we just started playing board games. So, um, uh, something weird happened. Just like, I said, dang, I wish the power would come back on. Then, literally one second later power came back on it was weird it was super super weird but that's my own story time uh but i hope you guys actually did enjoy that uh my mom's yelling like old sharpie or something but that's my own story time i uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little little mini story um I don't think I have many stories, because, I mean, I don't really go anywhere much, other than Disney World or something like that. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, get on with this video. Ah, uh, so relaxing. I hate you! Oh! Next time, don't steal my Monopoly! Dang! Diana, it, are you cheating? dollars you landed on his property. No! He's in jail! I'm not gonna give money to a criminal! But that's, that's how the game how works! <laughs> Mommy! Jeez. Why is brother screaming? Shut the f up, Sally! You don't get to talk after stealing my last railroad! I wow. wish I was never born! Me too! You think I wanted this? <laughs> Hi! Oh my! What you all just witnessed is the phenomenon known as Family Game Night. Family that is, Game Night plays an important role in the household game night dynamic. Runs, as then I don't want. I don't want Family Game Night. Activities together form closer bonds and stronger relationships with each other. So it's not try what it looks like. Aside some time to play board games with your family. Oh, look and at the little they pupper. beat you, cut them out of your life forever. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, have fun, you guys. Right, I like board games. I guess any game that doesn't involve me getting up and moving around, I'm a huge fan of. Also, since I'm bad at everything and don't like playing games against someone who's better wow. than me, I really love the and games that yeah. don't require any type of skill. Like you the you just gotta knock it down, me. Like, which over I just today you. has another name called Snakes and Ladders. Ooh. I want to call it that instead, because I'd rather draw snakes than shoots. In Snakes and Ladders, you have no free will. Oh, yeah, I You're remember the they played this in SpongeBob, dice, wasn't it? And I love it. While I was looking up walkthroughs for Snakes and Ladders, I quickly learned that this game was made for preschoolers, which is probably why it's so simple. Or how about the game Sorry, which is the most unapologetic game I've ever played. There's Ooh. some strategy in that game, but <laughs> That's most not of the time you you're just getting James. revenge on the players who've wronged you. And the creators of Sorry knew this because the tagline of the game is Sorry, the game of sweet revenge. Which, if you think about it, is a pretty funny True. oxymoron. Aha! Take this! Sorry. I know how to play chess. That's not how you play. But like most things, you're, I'm not very good at You're supposed to not say Unless sorry. I'm playing against someone under the age of four, I don't want to play that game because it shows everyone how bad I am at planning ahead. That's a game that's a hundred percent strategy based. It's like the IQ test of board games. Beating someone in chess will put you more ahead academically than anyone with a Harvard degree. And wow. you'll get more babes. However, there is one exception, and that is it's okay to lose at chess if you're playing against a computer, even if it's on easy mode. Computers are way better at planning ahead than anyone. Because I don't know how, but a human made a computer that can beat the world's best chess player, but the creator of the computer can't beat the world's best chess player. 
So I guess that means... Oh, yeah, I think over. I remember Try reading that on the news. But we've peaked. Whenever you beat a computer in chess, it was going easy on you. Imagine if we made a computer that could beat the world's best Snakes and Ladders player. I would pay money to see a Snakes and Ladders championship. And everyone Ooh, watching knows cool. that the person playing like is just some Joe Schmo full, that acts like, like the world's best snakes real and ladders snakes player, and but they're all still excited. And there's real snakes that you get to slide down? That would be amazing! Yeah, that would. <laughs> While we're on the topic of chess, I want to tell you about this cool sport I discovered called chess boxing. This is an chess actual boxing. competitive sport where two players play chess for three minutes, then box each other for three minutes. And they keep switching between chess and boxing until someone either gets a checkmate, they run out of time playing chess, or they KO the other player. I love this sport because it combines two polar opposite games, and it's something that anyone can play. Brains over brawn? <laughs> Try saying that after I sucker punch you in the- Oh, that was... That was a good move. Yep. I'm gonna punch you so hard in the balls for that. I know I just said I was bad at chess, but if there's yep. any YouTubers who want to challenge me- If you want to take them out, you, you gotta, you gotta punch. I will gladly take you to the ring, and we can charge people $12 just to watch. And we can end it in a draw. You know. Oh, I'll look bad in front of your fans. So Battleship, oh, that's another yeah, board yeah. game. And it also got a big Hollywood movie based on uh, it. I haven't Hold up. So many people were mad about that when Jake Paul and uh Deji ended in a draw. Oh oof. So many people were actually mad about that. Oh people paid twelve bucks just to see no one win. It's great. Just great. I've seen it, but I hope there's a scene where the captain of the ship goes, Men, fire at... D6? And then there's an explosion in the distance, and then Rihanna, who is actually in that movie, says, Sir, <clears throat> the alien sent a message. It says... Miss. The captain well, you goes, missed. Hmm. They're just saying. Someone write that down so we don't forget. And then there'll be an explosion at the back of their ship, an alarm start going off, and everyone uh -oh, on board light. starts freaking out except <laughs> yep. for the captain. And he goes, uh -oh. Rihanna, send the aliens a message. Tell them... Hit. Also, ask them if they think the situation would make a good board game. And if that scene is not in the movie, I hate it. Did anyone else collect a bunch of Pokemon cards but never knew how to play the game? I don't think I met a single person Me. who actually knew how to play the card game. Which was weird, because in my school, the card game was just as popular as the video games. Kids would always show off their collection of cards and binders, and everyone always wanted the highly coveted shiny Charizard card. You know which one I'm talking about. You know which one I'm talking about. You Not know really. what I'm talking about. Unlike Yu-Gi-Oh, which had dedicated episodes explaining why these five pieces of cardboard were expensive, the shiny Charizard was rare, not because it was good in the game, but because everyone agreed that it looked cool. But then when you yeah. ask someone, hey, do you want to play a game? They would say, okay, I summon my Charizard in attack mode. Does anyone even know how to play the Pokemon card game? I bet no. none of these guys even know what they're doing. How'd this guy win? He didn't even call Uno. I can't be too hard on the Pokemon cards, because the card game I like is probably way more complicated than Pokemon. I don't know for sure, because, like I said, Uno I know isn't how to that play the Pokemon complicated. Card game, but my favorite card game is Neopets. I'm just kidding, Wait, that what? was a joke. Kind of. I did actually own a lot of Neopet cards. I don't remember exactly what the heck how to play. Is I do remember you have to get 21 points to win, which got me into playing Blackjack. But it's okay that I don't remember how to play, because no one else is playing this game. I wanted to find some footage of a Neopet TGC championship, only to come to the disappointing realization that no Neopet championship exists, which is sad. So if there's any YouTubers watching who want to fight my Scorchio, square up. Okay, but for real, the card okay, game then? I like the most is Magic the Gathering. I don't know what and the heck that is. Factoid, all three card games I've mentioned were created by the same company, Wizards of the Coast. Hey, is that a Monopoly reference? I've been playing Magic since 2007, so. and back then the game was a lot more simple. Look at some of these more recent cards. First, see how many words are on them? And if we flip them over, they merge into an even bigger card. What? If you showed these cards to my 11-year-old self, I would have lost my marbles. My favorite Wait, really? thing about Magic Just for that? is when Richard Garfield, I mean, a double -sided Garfield, card? was first creating the game in 1993, he didn't really have an accurate way of testing the cards to make sure they are all fair and balanced, and he ended up creating some of the most overpowered cards in Magic. And players today refer to these cards as the Power Nine, because there were nine really good ones, which is why every single one of them is banned. Now, don't get me wrong, mm, the Power Nine are true. good cards, but none of them are like, you win the game good. Take this one, for example, Ancestral Recall. 
All it says is draw three cards or force opponent to draw three cards, which is stupid that they added that last part. Why would you ever give your opponent three more cards to beat you with? Now, I know what you're True. Thinking. Wait, a slightly better pot of greed, which is a card that allows me to draw two new cards from my deck and place them into my hand, is one of the top nine most powerful magic cards? Yeah, pot of greed is banned too. Games play such an important role in childhood, and here's what they all teach us. In magic, if you're really good at what you do, no one will invite you to their tournament. Monopoly, True. white collar crime is okay. Battleship, just guess and check. Snakes and ladders, if you see a ladder, climb it immediately. And no one cares about Neopet. Now, if you excuse Aww. me, I have to show this prison guard my coupon I have that lets me get out of jail anytime I like. And when all is said and done, oh, I thought well, I to guess myself, it did work. What can I do to help strengthen this weekly tradition of family game night? So, I decided to create my own game based off one of the most scarring events of my childhood. Many of you might recall the traumatic experience my sister and I had with Harry the Moth, and to help me cope, I decided oh, to yeah, immortalize Harry this memory by turning it into a Poor card Harry. game. Introducing Can't Catch Harry. I let my Twitter followers decide on a name and they hmm. went with this one, so good job guys. Here's a sneak peek of some of the cards. I spent a lot of time Ooh, working on this game, cool. I know you're gonna like it. We got a lot of recognizable characters like Mr. Poe, Mom, Satan, and sandwich artist. We're launching the game on Kickstarter today, so check out the link in the description to get yourself a copy. We have different reward tiers like holographic cards, golden figurines, and even a custom-made card if you're into that. The reward tiers are only going to be available for 30 days, and given my upload schedule, I don't know if I'll be able to tell you that again, so... I'll post updates on my Twitter and Instagram. That's right, I got an Instagram. I'm trying to tell you that uh, to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Great, and that's great. That's how we're gonna segue um, into the end card. I don't know what. Uh, also, great sponsor. The streamies. I mentioned. Should I say, hey man, I'm at the stream or not at the stream? I got nominated for Wait, streamy. Wait, is, is she playing ask. Magic say, hey, or do you be, do you whatever the other game was show? that was the animals? Me and said, guess what? We nominated you, and I'm just like, I didn't ask for this. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a thing that happened. Um, I'm probably going to get zero videos out b before then. Actually, I have to get a Halloween one out. Maybe I can get a Halloween video out before the streamies. Oh, uh, if this was in Halloween, then no. I, I ain't going to be able to get anything that he just said. What am I doing? Have you ever played 52-card pick-em-up? Have, uh, have you ever done that? Yes, and it's not fun. Now, pick-em-up. No, thank you. Yeah, you go ahead, do that. Well, I end this video off. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry that I didn't talk much. Um, I don't know. There's just... There's some, some stuff was funny, but... I just mostly liked this video, and I really kind of wanted to listen to it. And there wasn't really much to talk off of. But, this still was an awesome video. Make sure to go check it. Seems like people are having so much fun in there. Alright then, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to go check out the original video in the description down below. Bye-bye!